tell me honestly, am I ginger? So everyone, Megan AP here, and yes, you may notice, I dyed my hair red. I am officially a ginger, sort of. I'm a fake ginger. But I've wanted to do this for so long, and for some reason I was always scared to, because I don't know, I didn't think I would like it, and I was afraid that if I didn't like it, I would have to live with it until it grew out or faded or whatever. I was just scared to do it, and then finally, I just did it. And now, I have red hair, and I really like it. Do you like it? Tell me below if you like my red hair. Here's some footage I took when I was in the process of dyeing it. This is what it is, by the way. It's called Light Mountain Natural Hair Color and Conditioner. I did watch some videos, and some people had better luck with it than others, but obviously, according to this strand test, it works pretty well on my hair. That's what it looks like. I'm not going to show you the whole process of putting it in my hair because that would be super boring, but I'll come back and show you after it's all in my hair and everything. Okay, so this is my hair whilst covered in the uh, hair dye stuff. I was going to show you it without the cap on, I was just going to show you my disgustingly nasty looking hair. But I forgot to before I put the cap on. So now I'm going to wait for four hours while this sets into my hair and then I'll take a shower. Okay, so this is what my hair currently looks like after four hours with the goop on it. I'm gonna go wash my hair. Then I'll be back and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, everyone, this is the first look. I took a shower, just got out, and I haven't looked at it yet. is all tinted red. Maybe it will look better outside. Or when I dry it. I'm going to now, oops, I'm going to now blow dry it, brush it out, and then maybe go outside in the sun where it will look more bright? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Bye. So this is the finished product. It is very red. It is awesome. I honestly was not expecting this good of a result. I am amazed at how well this worked. So there you go, now I'm ginger. That was not the main topic of this video. I just saw Spider-Man Homecoming for the first time. I have been waiting to see it for so long. I've been so hyped for this movie. I can't believe it took me a whole week after the premiere to see it. Um, I thought I'd see it like the first or second day, but I'm glad I didn't because there was a lot less people in the theater when I didn't see it the first time, but then the problem was I had to avoid social media like all week because I didn't want spoilers for it. So after seeing the movie I was like, oh, I should do like a movie review or like a basically just my thoughts on the movie, like I did for Sherlock and Moana and Beauty and the Beast. And then I thought, no, don't do that, every other YouTuber has already done that and no one wants to watch another one of those, and so I decided I wasn't gonna. But then I thought, I'm gonna do it anyway because I do what I want. So, spoiler, insert spoiler warning here. I am now about to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming without restraint. So, if you haven't seen it, probably leave unless you want no spoilers. I'm looking at you, Tree. So, I was in love with this movie before I even saw it. Oh, 
awkwardness of interacting with Liz. That was that was good. I did not like the scene that he actually told her that he liked her. I just thought it was weird. Of course, scenes like that always are awkward and weird. But I didn't like that scene. Wait, the Yang, back to Michelle. I think that she's going to be awesome as MJ because she's not the popular girl. The pretty girl that every boy in the school wants to date and everyone wants to hang out with. She's this weirdo that hangs out in the back of the class and follows Peter and Ned around and goes to lame parties and no one really goes out and sketches people in distress, I guess. But I think that's gonna be really interesting to see her as now that we know.
I really want Spider-Man to be an Avenger. But he made the right decision, so it's fine. And then Pepper comes walking in. And I'm just so happy. Because after Civil War, when they were on a break or whatever, it made me sad. Because I don't want to see Pepper and Tony separated. And so it made me really happy to see Pepper again. I'm 100% totally agree with Seamus' theory that Peter Parker is a YouTuber. Because it makes complete sense, and I also think that it's the perfect switch from like